modern archaeologists explored not more than a third of all the buildings and rocky caves, despite the fact that Petra has been studied for several centuries. Huge monumental structures, how and what were created, in the pink rocks, definitive answers has not yet been found. For a long time Petra was considered a lost city, which was hidden a huge treasure, until the second opening in 1812 by a Swiss scientist and explorer Johann Beckhardt. Indeed, hundreds of years until the city passed through the caravan routes and trade brought great wealth to Petra. The original architecture of a multi-tiered tomb urns Bedouins called the court assuming that the room with arches could be prison cells. And according to the legend, in the 1st century BC there was a royal tomb, which is in the 5th century was converted into the first Christian church of Petra by Bishop Jason. from a white terrace overlooking the city center. Deep in the mountains is the monastery of Deo Fragment, which we visited last time and the light not subsided yet. With the arrival of the Romans, Petra experienced another high day. The city called by Emperor Trajan, mother of Arabia cities, more than once visited by distinguished guests. When in 131 BC, the city was visited the Roman Emperor Adrian, he renamed it in honor of himself, calling Petra Adrianske. When the Romans took control of trade routes and sent them to bypass the city, Petra went into decline, lost control of the trade, the power and money. And the city began to lose its former importance and the population to leave the chartered sun and the long centuries of the existence of the ancient capital. The next generation, with surprise, looked at the giant facades of tombs raised by the ancestors. The presence of the Nabataeans became less noticeable when the territory of the Byzantine Empire Christianity came and Petra was chosen as the seat of the bishop. It was the last era of prosperity of the city. Persistent earthquake have definitely has ruined Petra. The trip through the canyon is magnificent. And you begin to understand the ancient Nabataeans who worshipped the huge rocks, including their own deities. That idol Nabataean god Dushara, the patron god of the country and royal dynasty. The ancient city continues to open its secrets slowly. And perhaps most important of it will be opened one of these students, which on an example Petra studied the history of their native kingdom.